When you think about a virus, you likely imagine an evil entity, a foreign invader with a malicious agenda. But scientists, like myself, don't think of viruses as evil. Rather, we see them as imperfect machines. We believe we can turn these microscopic invaders for good, but first, we really have to understand them. My name is Laura Rugi, and I'm a PhD candidate at Northwestern University. I study herpes viruses, like herpes simplex virus type 1, or HSV-1. You may know this virus as the agent behind cold sores. HSV-1 is extremely common. The World Health Organization estimates that 67% of the worldwide population is infected with this virus. I study herpes virus not only in the hopes of identifying new targets for antivirals, but also with a dream that if we understand this virus well enough, it can be used as a tool for human health. Now, herpes virus is incredibly small, like 500 times smaller than the diameter of a single strand of hair small. So how do you study something so tiny? Perhaps you're thinking, ooh, I know, with a microscope, right? Well, sort of. Microscopes help us see things too small for the naked eye. But viruses like HSV-1 are too small. So in order to see them, we've had to get creative. One of my favorite methods involves a jellyfish. This jellyfish makes a special molecule that produces a bright green light when exposed to blue light. This molecule is known as green fluorescent protein, or GFP. In our lab, we see herpes virus by fusing GFP to the virus. It's like welding a green spotlight onto the head of the virus. So now, when we look at the virus under blue light, we see, wait a second, we can't do this here. Now that we're in the lab, we can look at the virus under blue light. And what we see is a bright green light shining back at us. So in my experiment, the virus looks like this, green little dots. But GFP has even been modified to produce just about every color of the rainbow. So now we can use multiple colors fusing different colored lights onto different parts of the virus. Why is this so important? Well, now that we can see the virus, we can study it in living cells. We can see the virus in action, not just snapshots. Over the years, these fluorescent proteins have helped our lab not only see herpes virus, but they've helped us to better understand it. And the more we understand about the virus, the better we can fight the virus and maybe even turn something evil for good.